Welcome guys. This is the second part of armor paint. In this video we will paint our textures on our model. Additionally we will use a new tool called color ID. So now let's start. Here I have a simple folder with a monkey head obj and textures. I have two texture sets, we need at least two for the color ID. So let's start by dragging our monkey head in armor paint. So now we edit our material. If you don't know how then watch my introduction video. So before we start with our textures, we add a implemented checker texture. Connect the RGB output to one of the inputs. Then also add another on and connect it over the second. You can change here the scale of the texture. Now we go to our textures folder and drag one texture set in armor paint. First drag the diffuse texture and connect it to the base color input. Then drag the normal map in the editor and connect it to the normal map input. Then also drag the metallic map in the editor and connect it to the metallic input. And the last on, the roughness texture. Connect it to the roughness input. If you want textures then I recommend you to go to Texture Heaven. I put the link in the description. Every texture set on this site is free but there are not much. Now I import the other texture set in armor paint. I create now another material and I do the same step I did with the other material.
Now we need a color ID. For this we really have to use Blender 2.79, with the new version it doesn't work. So first we import our monkey head. We drag a new window out and set it to the image editor. We go from edit mode to vertex paint. We can paint here the color ID. Go back to the edit mode and select the faces you want to separate. And again go back to the vertex paint and select the little icon on the bottom. Now you can paint selected faces. To fill the faces press Shift N and K. Go to edit mode and select everything. Now in the editor create a new image. Call it like you want. And now in the render tab go down to bake. Select to vertex color and bake. Now we have here our color ID. Save the image in your folder. Here back in Armor Paint we import our Color ID texture. And here in the tools we go down to the Color ID tool. Select the tool. Now change the texture here on top to the imported texture. Now you can pick a color and after you picked a color you can see here on top which color is applied. Go back to the normal brush tool and if you paint now it only paints on the blue spot. That is the color ID tool. Before you close this video I want to say thank you for watching this video I really hope that you have fun with this. And I also want to say thank you so much for 600 subscribers. You guys are amazing.